one can feel very very bad when someone calls you selfish especially when that person calling you selfish is your best friend or even your partner and your parent a few years back when i took a decision of moving out of a relationship that was not working out what relationship a marriage that was not working out i was called selfish because i was not thinking about the children i was called selfish because i was not thinking about uh, you know my family my parents um hamara khandan i was also called selfish by some of my friends because they said you know to kya ho gaya agar tumhari shaadi mein ye sab problems hai my marriage has problems which are so much more complex and so much more worse than yours you you are just thinking about yourself you are being very very selfish and um it is very very difficult when someone calls you selfish and you have to look at yourself in the mirror the next day so the decisions just come at a point when you have no other choices left when you've come to a point where you know ki aapke paas aur koi rasta hai hi nahi you make a hard choice at least i'm not one of those people who could make a hard choice very easily you know and for me i had to make a hard choice of actually walking out out of the marriage because i couldn't live another day it had come down to that you know and uh, of course i was scared and when you're so scared you're unsure of yourself and someone turns around and says you're being selfish um you can feel small you can feel defeated i felt all of that and the worst thing is when you start questioning your decision that kya main really itni buri hu am i such a bad person 23 years later i can tell you that being selfish for myself was the best decision i took for myself and today 20 we will think hindsight is 20 by 20 and today when i have 23 years and behind my decision and where i am today i'm in my 50s and i see that my daughters jinko sabne bola tha are divorced ghar ke bacche hain inka kya hoga you know they have turned out to be one of the most confident young women you will ever meet i wish i had the kind of confidence that they have and uh, I'm living my best life. I went on to find the person. I actually manifested my hu- my husband, I think, and that's why I really believe in the power of manifestation because I've been living the life that I wished for. And two things you must take from this video. The first thing is learn to be selfish for yourself. And I'll tell you how to do that. And the second thing is learn the art of manifestation. You can live the life that you wish and you dream for you can in fact create your life the way you want it that is a power of manifestation so let's talk about being selfish for yourself you know here are five six things that i've learned in situations where you have to stand up and just think for yourself the first thing is when people tell you things that are disrespectful for you to you right they may say things very casually or they might say it you know i feel sometimes people just say it because they feel that they must tell you things you know but and sometimes they might make a mistake of saying something which is disrespectful for you either ways if it's hurt you and you go back to them and say hey this was very disrespectful of me and they go back to justify what they said or if they try to explain to you why they said it or if they try to you know kind of sugar coat the whole thing and say oh this is why they did it i think one needs to walk away from such kind of people because they're really not understanding what is it that you're trying to say the thing is it doesn't matter why they said it it doesn't matter how they said it it doesn't matter what their intention was it doesn't matter what the results they were expecting the bottom line is that this was disrespectful for you and you felt disrespected somebody who cannot respect what you like and what you want it is all right in your interest in your in the interest of your self care that you walk away from the person if it means putting some distance between you and your best friend or distance between you and your relative or distance between you and your colleagues or distance between somebody who you really look up to it's all right to be just selfish at such a point the 
the second situation where i feel it is okay to be selfish is when you are surrounded by a friend or relatives or siblings or even your spouse or your work colleagues and all they expect from you is that you are available to them at any point of the day night between a work call between a busy day you know your or your you are just doing something which is really important for you but they expect you to answer their call answer their message get on the call with them talk to them uh, you know leave everything and come running to them because such kind of people don't respect your time and don't respect the fact that you could also be doing something they are just so self obsessed and they believe that their need their situation is the most important thing and you see this behavior repeating over and over again it's all right to get a little selfish and say you know what i need to set boundaries it's very important to set boundaries and let other people know listen i care for you you know i'm there for you but that does not mean i'm there for you 24 by 7 i also need space for myself and it's very important to have space for yourself because uh it is in in your time that you are able to do your best work or give the most attention to situations or to people who are dear to you or important to you if we don't set boundaries we tend to become people pleasers and there is absolutely no limit to how much people can push you and there is absolutely no limit that you will not go to if you are a people pleaser and what happens is in that when we become people please people pleasers we just tend to lose ourselves and we tend to lose what we are and who we are because for us the most important thing that becomes is how to please people even if it kills us in the bargain and if we go down that route then we are only getting down the route of self destruction because people can keep expecting more and more and more and more and we can keep giving more and more and more and more and yet not make those people completely happy with you so being a people pleaser i think is one of the worst self traits to have in yourself if you find it it means for us to immediately course correct become selfish about our needs our boundaries our timing what our likes are what our dislikes are and start respecting ourselves a little more instead of just thinking that only if i'm able to help people that makes me a good person no you are a good person to begin with in some situations you're not able to help people in some situations you are able to help people but whether you're able to help people or not doesn't change who you are as a person it's important to know this and once we are able to understand that we as people are important that our situations are important our problems are important and the fact that i need to prioritize myself over other people we actually move into a more positive uh, frame of mind we actually start practice, practicing the first principle of self care which is prioritizing yourself and filling your cup up this is a big uh, you know now people of course realize it but what 25 years back there was a psychologist which came on oprah winfrey and she said you know think about yourself first apply the same principle of when you're flying in the air you know you get instructions that put on your oxygen mask before you put your child oxygen mask because if you put you know don't put your oxygen mask in the process of helping your child put on the oxygen mask you could actually faint the child anyway can't help themselves right you have to be there to help them and that psychologist got a lot of um, you know a bad press and a lot of brick bats because they said how can a mother put herself before her child but today is an established fact that fill your cup up you know when your cup is brimming over is falling over with joy positivity self respect and um, happiness and success you are able to give that to other people easily because aapka to cup is already full right it's just falling over so it's easier for us to give it to other people but jab hamare paas kami hoti hai you can still find the generosity of your heart and give it but if you keep giving and giving and giving remember it's coming from you and if we are not whole we will never be able to give whole hearted and that behavior being repeated over a multiple times over a long period of time will only leave us sad might also leave us very bitter right because when we help somebody when we didn't have it and we still give to someone else and that person thought acha this person already has so much of it so what you know they don't value it as much but then tomorrow we might feel oh this person didn't even value this 
when I gave it to them when I didn't have it. It's a simple thing like, you know, your friend asks you for money and you don't have that money, but you want to be generous to that person. You say, you know what, I will still give that money to that person. You may take a loan from another person and give that money to them. And that friend of yours does not know how you the trouble you've gone through to get that money and might spend that money and not, and not return that money to you in the time period that you expect it to be returned. Your thinking is going to be that, look at this person, I helped this person, I took a loan and gave this money to this person and she's not even returned this money to me. But the other person doesn't understand the value of what you've given them. Na? They don't even know the trouble you've gone through to get that money. But if you have like a ton of money and you've given a little bit money to someone else, that urgency of getting that money back to you is not there, right? And you're able to continue to be in a positive frame of mind. So I really feel that give what you have a lot of, you know, and only give once your cup is full. That's one of the biggest principles of staying positive and also maintaining healthy relationships. When you have so much to give and you give a little bit extra to someone else, you feel happy about it, you know. Wo, you don't feel that burn in your heart that despite the fact that I didn't have it, I still gave it to you. And if, if at times you're not able to give people, it's okay for people to make a point of view about you which may not be right. And it's okay for people to misunderstand us and have their own point of view because everybody has their point of view. But I'll tell you the magic of relationships is only when people know us for who we are without us trying to put in too much of effort into it. That is the real magic, whether it's friendship, whether it's you know your spouse or whether it's even your parents. A lot of parents don't know us as well as they imagine us to be, especially when we become adults, right? You know, different people have different experiences in life. We become who we are because of how we are brought up, the kind of people we meet, the kind of schools we go to, the kind of experience we have. So with the different experiences, the different um, cultures and different upbringing, different parenting and, and our different natures, uh, we look at things differently. And so when someone misunderstands me, I don't get too bothered about it. I feel it's okay if they want to really understand me well, they will find the time and I will find the time to kind of make sure that we know each other for who we are. And I've realized that, you know, I don't care about what people think about me because um, if I care enough about me, what people think about me, the fact is that if their praise builds me up, their criticism can also pull me down. Right? So I don't want to give either of the parts to anybody. I feel good about who I am. I celebrate myself because of all the, you know, hardships in the life that I've lived. You know, it has made me, I have deep respect for whom I've become in these last, you know, 20, 25 years. I was not that kind of a person. And I feel that people who are going to be special in my life will see that light in me, you know. Same way like how we get pulled to some people. I think we get pulled to people whom we feel that we can uh, learn from, we can respect, we can have fun with, and can actually make our life more joyful. And that is so, so precious. And that is why in the last few years, one thing I have totally stopped is trying to change people. You know, because I feel changing or becoming a better person comes with a lot of trials, with a lot of heartache. Change is very, very hard. Change is very, very powerful. And change can be very, very um, difficult for a lot of people. It requires a lot of, you, one has to go through a lot of discomfort and pain and heartache to really change who we are as people, right? And I feel that it is not in my power. It's not in me to change people. People have their own paths. They have to find their own paths. And they have to change and become who they want to become with their own effort. If they need help or advice, they will always reach out to you and you can always give them. But I no longer invest that time in people in trying to change them for, for any uh, purpose, whether, whether it's for whether it's change the way they wear their clothes or change the way they talk or the way they conduct themselves. I feel no, you know, change is earned. One has to give in a lot to change as a person. I know how I was 20, 25 years back. You know, I was insecure. I was, uh, I hated the way I looked. I was scared of the world. 
I used to be uh, so worried about what people will think of me. I wanted to make sure that everybody loved me, liked me. But who I have become over 25 years has been a very painful period, but it's been the most rewarding period of my life. Because today I'm so secure in who I am. You know, I embrace my um, craziness, my madness. I think all of us have a little bit of madness in us. And that's what really makes us who we are. You know, and when I started my content creation uh, path two years back, everybody said, you are stupid to get 50, trying to learn something new and to talk, you know, become a content creator, become a YouTuber. I was like, take the I love, I would love to reach out to people and share my journey in the hope that there is somebody out there who's just waiting to know that it's okay to be different. It is okay to choose a path that people don't understand. It is okay to be misunderstood. It is okay to not care for other people's opinion. And it is okay to put yourself ahead of everybody and everything because you in your heart know that this path which nobody is understanding or seeing right now is your path and only you can walk. Let me know if you've taken the road less traveled, if you have changed and if you've taken yourself from a dire situation and come out a winner or if you are in the process of becoming the winner that you dream for yourself to be. I'm going to meet you in the comment section.